think we should like lower down the settings a bit. Just a bit. Um I think balanced as balanced would be reasonable. Revelio. I have some matters to discuss. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Uh, Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell. Handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds... Uh, versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. You know where to find me once you've finished. Hmm. Revelio. Seems crossed wands isn't as secret as it's believed to be. Wait a minute. Okay, I haven't seen this part of the castle yet. I think. Damn. Rebellion. Mm -hmm.
Revelio. So this statue depicts the wizard Lackland, the lanky, a tall slender wizard who appears quite proud of himself for what precisely no one knows. Lackland. Hmm. Revelio. Glad you can make it. Lucan's just over there. Honestly, it still confuses me. What? What is? Why is this object blue? Can I help you? Mm, okay. Complete a round spell combination with. Can be. Br Brattle. Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinate duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I seem to have a knack for dueling. Then you've come to the right place. How does cross ones work exactly? You show up. I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end, wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And, to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Yeah, of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Crossed Ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along, or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Mm, not really. Get oh. me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! We'll make you regret signing up. Wait a minute. Okay, break through the yellow shields. Lumos. Accio. Levio's got one. Levio's got one. Accio. Levio's got one. Stupid one. It's not so. Lumos. There goes the way. It's not so. Lumos. Lumos, protect him. Stupid one. Find the one. Nice. Perhaps one day I'll sign up for a round. Oh, nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up, and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. In fact, the second duel is ready when you are. And as a fully initiated member, you now have access to the official Crossed Ones training dummy. Very good way to master spell combinations. Come and see me, and I'll set it up. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Hope to see you back here again. Okay, now what?
back. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of crossed ones all set? Why, yes, it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? Yes, Natty. Then let's get to it. Ready to get thrashed? Apologies in advance. Oh. I gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you. But after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning. Or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch. Ready to have a try now? Actually, I might come back later. Suit yourself. I'll be around when you're ready. Hello, Lucan. I'm ready for practice. Glad you're keeping at it. Ready to have a try now? That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. Oh my god. If you need to stop practicing before you finish. I think that's enough practice for now. Already? But you haven't finished the training exercise. I shall finish up later. Very well. Hello, Lucan. I'm ready for practice. Glad you're keeping at it. Actually, I might come back later. Suit yourself. I'll... Hello, Lucan. Ready to have a try now? That would be one. Excellent fall. Let me answer. Nicely done. Akio. You'll get it. Let 
You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. Assignment's all finished. Some kind soul help me. I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accomplish. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hackett. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Concentrate and keep your wand steady. A new student were to help me with my sad predicament.
make sure he's in at the present moment, Dude. the headmaster. We'll be sure to tell him how very much. Rebellio. Ah, there you are. Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Heckard. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? Fig, I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office, five minutes. man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. God, I hate the headmaster. Sebastian mentioned sneaking into the restricted section. Perhaps he'll have an idea. Hmm, he must. Sebastian, there you are. There you are. You promised me an explanation for what happened in the Three Broomsticks. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? Seems he's working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Ranrock? And when were you at Gringotts? Professor Fig and I ended up there after the dragon attack. <laughs> It's quite the tale. Fig had this port key. A port key? To Gringotts? I'm not sure I follow. I barely follow myself, and I was there. Anyway, we ended up in an ancient vault where we found a map. That map leads to the restricted section. You can't be serious. Deadly serious. Professor Fig has insisted that I not tell a soul about any of this. Yeah. I've probably said too much. Understood. Your secret's safe with me. Whatever it is. Thank you, Sebastian. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight, and tell no one. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner. So don't let them see us. Understood? I we'll can be sneaky. Now. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light. Just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. 
You mean I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. Okay, let's do it. Dude, come back. Where is that idiot? Blast. The librarian's still here. Quick, behind the bookcase. Damn! You told me the librarian would be gone by now. I said usually, but it'll still be alright. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. You distract, I get the key. Understood. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. Peeves. The key. Here it is. That wasn't so difficult after all. Now to find that book. Oh, that one's charm to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tome by its cover, I say. Hmm, true. Use basic cost while undetected lure authority figures and enemies to a desired location. Aim mode. Hmm, okay. Ghost, don't let her see you. You want? 
Must we encounter students at all hours of the day and night? than a job or not. Oh, that one's charm to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tome by its cover, I say. Ghost, don't let her see you. Surely no one's wandering about. Should be in the clear. No need for us to be skulking about. So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Because Merlin knows everyone else is given. Why do you think we'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help her? No! We've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mongo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. Revelio. Him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. How do I know you won't go to the librarian and blame this all on me? Why would I do that? I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this armor. Revelio. Of course, traces of ancient magic. Huh. There must be more to this room.
Where might this lead? Revelio. Not surprising. Cards at the ready. Akio. Revelio Akio Incendio Incendio Protego Stoop time Revelio. This must be the way forward, but to where? Ugh. <sighs> 
Nearly there. Best keep my wits about me. a book after all. Wanted to see me? Headmistress Fitzgerald. Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach. Welcome. Professor Rookwood. Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I've never heard of another like us. Miss Morgan. when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hammer. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly 
It was not your imagination. First of all, Professor Rackham can see them too. But we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Mortimer. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. Sebastian. Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? <laughs>
Rebellion. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section, as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Oh. Oh, dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive. Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm. Perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. What will you tell them about Mr. Rosrick's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spellcasting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. It's time to prove your dueling metal and see if we've a new school champion. Meet me at the usual place for the final round of crossed ones. Also, the training dummy is still available. Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. Revelio.
said that travel broadens the mind. Revelio. Might some kind soul help me? Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Everyone hates you? Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Ever written a story or a terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone... Perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelio! Accio! Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Revelio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. What are you up to now? 
Revelio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Accio. Handy resource indeed. Your mm -hmm. Revelio. Hope your well doesn't seem to mind having her. Accio. I hide in my coffin. Do you think it's possible to spend Revelio. Accio. That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. He said I had a complexion like a hippocampus. You can't imagine how he Revelio. Travel was before I invented. Accio. Revelio.
I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my... Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? Of course. They are yours, after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all my future victories to you. Speaking of which... Now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. <laughs> 